The truth is just a well-told lie. But not too much on Meg and Tori. That shit is over. Let's get back to what I promised you. Disturbingly Random Random As promised, back again. I'm Rome from Disturbingly Random, brought to you by Still Magazine. Um, want to get to this whole thing about uh, this top 10. Everybody got a top 10. I promised I was going to bring a top 10 web series of 2022. So I'm going to do just that. A lot of players in the game. Um, some people dormant, some people not so dormant, some people real busy, um, such as Project Heat. Project Heat over with Pop and uh, those guys. Um, they got a lot of things done this year. And to, well, last year, 2022, we're talking about. Um, uh, Pop had a you know short film studios. Uh, he had Halloween too. Uh, he had a, a chance with uh, Chauncey on uh, it's, a, it's a reality web series um, that's on YouTube, and uh, he also had a New York edition, Atlanta edition, Baltimore edition, and Connecticut edition of Project Heat. So you know what I'm saying? He's hot in the game. He kept his uh, his camera burning all year, all year. So um, he's definitely in there. Um, we got a uh, Ray Lute. Ray Lute, uh, he had Foster Sin, he had uh, Roommates, his uh, comedy series. Uh, we had, uh, he had Ill Intentions, um, a movie, uh, and he had In Vain, a horror movie. So uh, Ray Lute was real busy too. Um, we had uh, Cloud9 TV, and so we can't forget about those guys. And that's, like I said, Mo, or Rafe, as some of us remember him, or we'll call him, um, from uh, his uh, Money and Violence series. Um, that jump started a lot of a lot of these urban uh, web series. Now um, he had a uh, Brooklyn Boys Radio, and you know he started his thing over there with uh, you know uh, doing like a podcast, but not so much as a podcast. But go check it out; it's on YouTube, Brooklyn Boys Radio. But um, he was busy with that, and he also dropped off uh, episodes, final episodes of uh, of Black, and uh, final episodes of The Spot, uh, his other uh, series. So. He was busy as well. Um, uh, then you had a uh, Gat Murder with the Brooklyn Way. The Brooklyn Way was a uh, was, was kind of sitting for a second, and then he just like turned up the heat. Um, I was kind of wondering if uh, he was gonna jump back into the uh, into the fire with that um, because he was making so many appearances on the uh, Math Hoffers um, My Expert Opinion podcast. So uh, I thought that was gonna be his new gig, but turned back on that camera and uh, he dropped off uh, the Brooklyn way, uh, gave us uh, episode 10 and I think uh, episode 8 and 9 came this year as well, 7, 8 and uh, but he's kind of busy, he, he dropped off a couple of episodes this year but he round off the end of the year with episode 10 of uh, season 3 so go check that out But uh, all, of these, all of these names are going to be in this my lineup, my top 10 lineup, uh, it was going to be a top 5 but um, there's just so many so, so many people did so many things man um, I would like to, I would love to put Illa G in New York Minute in it because uh, Illa G did promise that he was going to bring us a, a new season and uh, some new episodes of a New York Minute, but um, he made me laugh more than he gave me episodes. Um, there were no episodes. Just, I'm still waiting on that, Illa. But um, he did make me laugh with a lot of his posts on Instagram. Um, we had, uh, we had, we had the recession was said that they were going to uh, be filming and dropping us off something real soon in 2022, but that that never came. Um, so maybe 2023 is going to be a better year for them. And these were all the names that were on my list, and I had to be reminded of why they had to come off. Vengeance from uh, Ellen and Productions, they were on my list, um, and maybe because I loved that series so much, Vengeance web series so much. But um, I can't put them on the list for being top 10 of 2022. But I will remind you that. Uh, that uh, Q from LM Productions, um, who created Vengeance, he is in Ill Intentions, Ray Lute's Ill Intentions movie. Um, so you do want to check him out in that. He, and maybe that's why he wasn't doing so much filming, because he was in front of the camera instead of behind the camera this year. But uh, he put on a, a stellar performance there. Stellar. Did I just say stellar? Who says stellar? Um, but I said it. Anyway, um, and then um, there was also, uh, there was another one. I'm, 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 I'm forgetting. But uh, anyway, there was, there was there was just a couple and that probably won't make the list, but I did have on the list. I'm just taking those off, wiping those right off the bottom. 
um, get those out of there. But uh, I'm going to replace them, Nathan, with 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 some new web series that people probably haven't had a chance to get acclimated with. Um, and there and there's one called uh, Hustlers Ambition Atlanta. Check that out. It's filmed well. The sound is great, and that's always a good thing when the sound quality is good. So the sound quality is great. The film is great. Um, the acting seems like it's pretty much on point. Um, uh, and, uh, oh, and No Way Out, there's another one. Um, the sound quality might not be so great yet, but you gotta give these guys a chance. Everybody start off with just, you know, what, what they got, and they just gotta work their way through it. And that's the whole thing about this whole web series thing. Give people props and anything because um, it, it's hard work. Like I always say, it's hard work. Um, you know, um, they put they, you know, they put their all into it. You know what I'm saying? It's hard trying to gather people up from, you know, from your respective areas and trying to get them to to actually, you know, get in front of a camera and act and play parts and whatever like that and devote time and whatever like that because everybody got a life. But you know, um, but to do this and with, with with hopes, wishes, and dreams and everything that it turns into something bigger, um, you gotta give props to that. So this is what this top ten list is all about. You know, giving props to the people who work so hard. So like I said, no way out. Oh, and going OT by um, um, the uh, the co-star of Money and Violence. Um, name's Miz on Money and Violence, but I think his name is Mr. Gorsi. I always say that name wrong. But um, yeah, I mentioned him in another um, episode of this uh, deservedly random uh, post and, and installment. Um, but yeah, so check it out. So without further ado, I'm going to throw up that uh, top 10. Start off as the top five. Top 10 now. And I'm going to throw it up. I'm erasing those other names that shouldn't be on there. And you'll see, they'll be up there. Throwing it up there, Nathan, and then I'm gonna replace it with what should be up. There. So that's it. I'm out. Anything? Thanks for tuning in again. Um, I'm Rome. It's Jerry really Random. It's where I'm from. Still mag. It's who I'm with. All right. I'm out. Peace. If you're looking for a good time. Good time. To the right place, cause right now we about to get lit. Got something cooking in the pot, okay. so you should grab a seat and take a shot. Cause this vibe is about to be Come from me in the kitchen, I'ma serve in the dish. They either hate it or they love it, but they know it, I don't miss. Cuzzle came to with the vocal sleeves to be with a hit. Shout out to Seal Magazine, let them know we the shit. Disturbingly.